if you weren't aware, on my channel and a lot of the videos um, that I've produced recently, and also some of the more popular videos before, I've now added a link for you guys to actually book a call with me and to discuss any issues that you're having in your trading. This is not a sales pitch. This is not, you know, a, a scam to try and get you into a course or something. Um, like they always say, a free consultation or something. This literally is, you book a call, we get on a call and discuss your trading problems. And yesterday, someone actually booked one of those those calls. And yeah, this is the episode for that. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do want to be booking a call like this one, uh, just look at the first line in the description and there will be a Calendly link where you can book that call. Have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, if you want to be sharing this around, please do um, because hopefully it can help some of you guys as well um, that are having some problems with your risk management. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Can you tell me a little bit about your training before I kind of get into risk management? Yeah, I, I, I'm just a, I, I, I want to say I'm a beginner for now because I've been, uh, uh, I've been learning Forex for over a year now. Okay. I've actually, uh, I've actually lost some accounts yeah. and I think it's as a result of my uh, lack of uh, good uh, risk management. Right. That's okay. why I would I would like you to put me through. There's some. Um, I've had. I've, had, uh, <clears throat> I've taken uh, some YouTube uh, courses like that, but I think I could. I could learn more, especially when I come across your YouTube um, videos. Okay. You have what it takes to put me through. Okay. Cool. Um. So yeah, this is gonna be like a super quick call. Um, so it's not going to be like super in depth, but I can give you some pointers to kind of help you, I guess. So, do you currently have a risk management plan, or do you not? Uh, mm, no, not really. No. So, do do you like uh, do you, do you have a trading plan at all, or or not? Yeah. So, do you yeah, have like a I, written I, plan? your trades uh, no okay so the first thing i think you should do is create so whatever your strategy is create a trading plan um that is written down so that can either be on paper or it can be on like a word document but mm -hmm. write it down so write a trading plan down and uh, i'll send you a video as well um, that kind of covers that. I'll send you, I'll send you this video. Um, so I'll put that into the chat so you can you can just copy that. Um, okay. But yeah, basically, once you've built that plan, I'm going to want you to focus on risk management because obviously that's the thing that you're struggling with. Um, so what I kind of advise, well, not advise because I'm not a financial advisor, but what I would do is risk one percent per trade. So how, how can you find that out? You can use a position size calculator. There's loads of them on the internet, or you can download an expert advisor that you can put into uh, MetaTrader 4 or 5. Um, and then that will automatically calculate your risk. So you just put 1% in there. You can input your take profit and stop loss based on whatever you want. You hit place trade, and it will automatically do 1%. So never, never okay. change it. Always keep it at 1%. Um, okay. And even if you're on a big losing streak or a big winning streak and you feel like things are going badly or you think things are going really well, don't change your risk management, for, for now anyway. Just keep it the same and just trade that consistently. Um, mm. I don't know if you're trading live or you're trading demo, but that's not really the point. Um, just keep your risk the same because it's going to help you psychologically as well. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, the rest of it I would keep super, super basic. So don't do 
kind of any trailing stops, don't do partials in terms of taking uh, profit off the table. Just keep it super basic. Set TP, set stop loss, 1% risk per trade, and you're in. Like, that's really, really kind of basic. And for me, it's solid because you don't have to think about it too much. Um, you just kind of set it and forget the trade. So it's super good for psychology. And there's not really too many elements that you can mess up. Does that make Does that make sense, or do you want me to go yeah. over anything? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So that's the kind of technical side out, out of the way. Um, in terms of just a broad overview of risk management, the way that I look at it is: so I'd rather be out of a lo- uh, a winning trade than okay. in a losing trade. I'll say that again. So I'd rather be out of a winning trade, so not in that winning trade, than being in a loser. A losing trade. Right. Um, and the idea is to preserve <clears throat> to preserve my capital. So how can I keep um, basically my chips? I don't know whether you play poker, but um, like the money in, in poker is called chips. And the idea is you can't bet if you don't have any chips but you can't make money if you don't bet. Um, no, it does. It's a little bit of a different saying, but essentially what it's saying is, if you lose all your money, you can't make any money. So the idea of keeping your risk, you know, really, really solid, small risk, means that you can constantly be betting. Whereas if you bet big and you lose, you now don't have any money or chips to be able to bet and make money. So think about risk in a way that helps you to preserve your capital. And the longer you can trade, the better. Don't try and make money now. Try and make money on like a monthly and yearly basis. Um, So how much are you wanting to make currently? Do you have like a figure in your head in terms of a percentage? In terms of percentage? uh, Yeah. Um, Probably 10%. Per year or per month, is that? 10% a month. A month, okay. That is quite high, I will admit. Um, It's not impossible, but it's not... It's not easy. Like, it's... To do that every single month, year on year, is probably impossible. But to do it, to have, like, I don't know... Four or five ten percent months in a year that's really good like um i think what you should do is probably cut that in half and then maybe cut it in half again um like if you can aim between like two and five percent a month you're a good you're a really really good trader um really good trader so i know that like obviously on instagram and all this kind of stuff everyone's making a load of money they're making a thousand percent a day. Just ignore that, okay? And just try and compare yourself to like a, either an asset class, so the S and P five hundred. If you can beat the S and P five hundred per year for its gains, good stuff because you know that's a solid benchmark for any investment. Or you can go a little bit more and go, okay, I want to beat Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors in history. Um, I want to be a better investor than he is. So, you know, you can pick which level you want to be at, but, you know, Warren Buffett is making like 30% a year on average, I think. I don't know that for certain, but um, he's making like around that. And you're currently saying you want to, want to make 120% a year. So... I hope that kind of puts it into perspective a little bit. But um, for someone that's only been trading for a year, you want to be trading better or making more than one of the greatest investors in history that's been doing it his whole life. Um, So, yeah, bring it down a little bit. Try and make between 2 and 5% a month consistently. Um, And, yeah, think about preserving your capital instead of making money. Um, so don't lose the money instead of trying to make it. That's the most important thing. Um, if you're not a hundred percent on trade, just don't take it. Um, do you have any other kind of questions? 
Uh, to go over this no, management? No. no? Yeah, I think uh, what you, you've, you've uh, cleared a lot of uh, misconception in me now. Because, uh, but I, I think uh, with Forex, you can make millions at least. Uh, okay, in terms of percentage, you can make like 30, 40% even in a month of your capital. Because that, that that's what we see on the on the internet these days. People brandishing their successes, yeah. Make uh, making uh, some even make they can say they make up to over hundred percent in a day of their yeah. capital. Yeah. And so uh, so that that's what but that probably that's the misconception. That's why I said maybe at least. Precise conservatively, if I can be making ten percent in a day, uh, I, I, I mean in a month, that would be okay. But with with what you just told me now, I think uh, I, I'm having a change of uh, mind now, and I'm beginning to think. Uh, well, I mean, the people yeah. that are making a hundred percent in a day, or even a hundred percent in a month, they're not going to be doing this in a year's time. Mm -hmm. They're just they're just not. <laughs> Um, the, yeah, that's completely ridiculous. Um, the, I mean, that's not then regular trading. I can tell you that right now. Like they would have, they would have probably traded that, I don't know, 10 times, 20 times on 20 different accounts, recorded every single one of them. And on one of them, they got the goal of a hundred percent. And then that's the video that, that they uploaded. You don't see the other 19 accounts that they blew up and don't, you know, ignored. Um, it That's just, that's marketing, right? It's trying to get you in, it's trying to sell you something. That's all that is. Um, it's not real, you know, real kind of portfolio management, trading management, um, level trading, right? You can go and do some courses uh, from... Uh, what's it called? Institute of Trading Portfolio Portfolio Management. Let me have a look. Um, Institute of Trading. Yeah. Uh, in, if you just search Institute of Trading and Portfolio Management, um, okay. you can have a look at them. They're very, very, very good at what they do. They're ex. They're all ex ex Goldman Sachs traders. Um, I've sent you a link. They. Okay kind of go over the real stuff of trading um, and they are very, very good. So if you do want to be taking trading seriously, instead of making a hundred percent a day, go and kind of learn some stuff from these guys. Um, you know, they are, they're Goldman Sachs traders. So you can follow the guy on Instagram or you can follow Goldman Sachs guys. Um, yeah. One of them is probably going to lead to you with nothing. And the other one's going to lead to being wealthy. So um, I know the the Instagram one's a little bit more exciting. It's a little bit more flashy. It's more, you know, you want to go and do that one, but it's not going to end well. It might end. It might go well for a month. It might go well for two months, but eventually you're going to blow up. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, just, right. Yeah, try and try and ignore them. I know it's hard, but just try and ignore them as much <laughs> as possible. Um, I think a lot of guys that you'll see, even big YouTubers, I'm not going to name anyone. Um, you can go through all of my videos on YouTube because I have mentioned them on, on live streams before, but I'm not going to be mentioning them again. Um, yeah, they. It's like you'd be surprised at the the some of the stuff that people do to to make themselves look rich um mm. it's all just fake essentially mm. um so yeah just just try and ignore it as best as you can if, if someone's being so, a little bit too flashy just try and ignore it all right yeah do you have do you have anything else do you want to go over there anything else quickly yeah i wouldn't know jacob if you have um a kind of um mentorship class or yeah like uh, uh um, okay if i want to is, is then if, if i want to join what does it cost me how, how do i join so it's 22 pounds i believe a month 
um, okay. like a private chat room. So I don't really do mentorship because I've done mentorship in the past. Um, okay. And people don't typically stick to their word from what I've okay. seen. So uh, I've kind of given up on doing the whole uh, the whole mentoring thing anyway for now. Um, but um, I'll invite I'll invite you to that as well. So there's a few links in the chat that you can that you can go through. But yeah, you can join that. It's a private group. There's about fifteen of us in there right now. Um, and yeah, you can ask any questions that you want in there. I do monthly calls. Um, I do monthly fundamental reports as well that I send out. Um, yeah, any questions you can just message me on there and and I'll answer. There's some guys in there that are trading with uh, FTMO as well, so they're funded traders. So you can ask those guys questions as well. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty good group to be honest. Um, so if you do want to be joining that, you can do. Um, yeah. So yeah, is there anything else that you want to go over, or you? No, you no, good? no. Uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Cool. I'll be sending. You, you will see my messages on the in the chat room. 